Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on ECB Day, 10 September. Got the dollars R chart up here. Obviously, line in the sand is 55, 16.55. 10 handles higher here. This is just going to reflect what, what risk does. S&P is now back at 34.01. We were down at 84 in the Asian session. We shall see. Looks like she wants to go down, but here's the deal. Big red, big green, big red, big green, big red, big green. It gets pretty tiring here. Something has to give, either 117 um, or 16.55. Keep an eye on both levels. Euro sources news yesterday caused us to pop up to basically uh, 118.34 we're now at 22 um, Europe's not gonna ECB's not gonna do anything with their announcement as far as QE or rates everything comes down to uh, Christine she's still in the neophyte phases of this I don't expect anything real punchy from her um, and we'll see. I mean, my instinct is it's going to be dovish. Uh, going into this new fearful season, whether it's correct or not, stocks are in the fearful season. We're heading into the COVID second wave fear. Um, of course, nobody knows. What's at, what's going to happen in the next three months? Uh, but also going into the U.S. election, <clears throat> Christine, uh, who's a very political uh, ECB president, will be very well aware of that, and will keep things easy uh, for longer. On the downside, one seventeen fifty is important. On the top side, I don't really see much important. Uh, one eighteen seventy is almost the exact middle of the range. Might be a dud today in ECB. We'll see. Talked about the sterling basket yesterday. The timing wasn't great. Cable was around 129.35. We plopped down to 85 quite quickly. But then we turned around, and here we are. Um, sterling has turned. There'll be a last-minute deal on Brexit. Won't be great for Britain, but don't forget, Brexit's sort of been priced into the UK, right? Fair value for cables, probably around 145. Um, we're at 130. You know, we've been down to 114. I think post-Brexit will be sort of 140. Dollar Swiss got smushed yesterday on that ECB news. 92 cents, very important. Dollar Swiss. Dollar Yen's not doing dick. Euro Yen. Through the roof. 125.65 is important. Shorts got slaughtered. Tough if you're a trend follower these days. 124.41 is important on the downside. Dollar Max slipped through 21.50 late, around 7 p.m. Uh, Swiss time. Sliced right through there, all the way down to 35. Crude's back at 38 cents. Front month is at 38 cents. Um, we'll see if this, if we continue to get risk on this, this has legs, right? Should see resistance first time back into 46 and 50. Keep an eye on crude and keep an eye on risk. Aussie. Big avalanche of buying yesterday. Couldn't quite clear 7308. 7276 is pretty meaningless. BOC was, was not dovish, which was weird. 
they eliminated one of the sentences at the end of their little statement talking about how they're going to be ready to lower rates further for longer. No one really saw that sentence and it wasn't really sort of a super tradable piece of news, but it's kind of kind of hawkish on the margins. Dollar CAD could continue to go down today. EuroCAD, if you're looking for a dovish BC, ECB, hawkish, uh, BOC, Blue Oyster Cult, Bach. It's for you, Maddie Robinson. Euro, Euro, Euro uh, CAD, not really much there. We're kind of grasping at straws. Let's look at ES. Put in a good 126 handles there, up to uh, 130 handles, up to 34.24. Back down to 84. We're going to be a tug of war here in the middle of this overall range. This is a pretty important point here at 95 now. Um, no real clue on uh, ES here. Apple popped. Uh, back to 118. As long as this stays below 125, stock should be offered in my mind. And I do think this has another leg lower. Um, but it is interesting that it stopped uh, sort of down here, 110, 100 area. Careful of that. Our little Bitcoin pickups tactically have paid. We're still long, obviously, in the in the investment book. But uh, the stuff around ten thousand as pay have paid. You know, you can just grab your five hundred dollars uh, off for ten fives. You know, this is for your tactical book and your investment book is very different, or your trend following book, or whatever book you want to call it. Um, so if you pick some up at 10, go ahead, sell them 10, 5, 10, 8, uh, and rebid for them. And uh, collect your 500 bucks and, and uh, move on. BTPs. We're very bearish this stuff still. This is a new contract, so don't get uh, keep it in your pants. It wasn't a, some sort of uh, gap collapse. Um, we're a seller of BTPs. Uh, let's go, we got to see how um, how Lagarde sounds. Obviously, if she's super dovish, this will take a little bit of a, a hypey hype move higher. Uh, we will fade that. And if she's hawkish, um, then we'll try and scramble and, and get back short. That's all we got for now. We got um, we got. Some numbers out in the U.S. today as well. Payroll stuff. We got uh, Macklem speaking from the BOC again today to shed some more light on whether that was truly a hawkish um, BOC yesterday. Keeping an eye on dollars are 1655, 17 the figure. Keeping an eye on euro, 11750 on the downside. And we are just patiently waiting and watching. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.